Hey everyone, welcome to the Wild and Uncut podcast brought to you by Ruger. I'm your host, Christy Titus. Thank you for tuning in. The line is going hot, so let's go full send on this episode. I'm here with two of my favorite in the world humans. We got Jordan Budd and Miss Leah Piper. You got married this year. I went to your wedding. It was beautiful. Yep. It was like a nice Wild country wedding party. that turned into a frat party. Instead of doing a honeymoon, we did a hunting moon. Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, Montana, and, Montana, and deer hunted all of it. We had a great time. Jordan ended up getting a deer in Idaho. Mm -hmm. I got a deer in Montana. We got to be picky because our freezer was full, so we got to kind of pick and choose. We passed up on a lot of deer and just like had a good time. Yeah. yeah. Friends like I'm installing an HVAC system <laughs> in my camper today. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, I really jumped down that rabbit hole. You know, we just go out there and we can stay out way longer because we're comfortable and warm. I co-host a podcast with Yanni uh, on the Meat Eater Network called Gear Talk. Yeah. All about gear and stuff. You name it, we're going to end up talking about it. The rise in participation of women and kids in both hunting and shooting sports has encouraged firearms manufacturers to produce rifles that offer out-of-the-box adjustability. One of the many reasons that I love Ruger firearms is that they manufacture rifles for everyone. Many models like this Ruger Hawkeye Long Range Hunter feature spacers that can be easily added or removed from the buttstock of the rifle, providing a comfortable fit and ease of use for all responsible citizens. I'm a proud Ruger American, and you should be too. Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Wild and Uncut podcast. I'm Christy Titus and I'm here with two of my favorite in the world humans. We got Jordan Budd and Miss Leah Piper. And actually, what are we hyphenating it as as newlyweds, ladies? What is the, we haven't the decided official yet. status? Do we know? There's some we solid rock, paper, yet. scissoring happening on what's going to be the last name here. <laughs> yeah. We're not 100% sure where we're going with that. No. I didn't change my name. I was like just kept it we haven't changed it yet we're waiting for a kid yeah it's, it's gonna a be girl, like it's gonna it's gonna be a last name bud <laughs> if it's a boy we're gonna have to fight about it oh boy it's, oh it's boy. gonna be a thing yeah, you could yeah. just hyphenate the kid's last name yeah like uh, if you guys just do a full hyphenation for you and then everybody's hyphenated and leah's really against hyphenations really just as long it's so long you know yeah. like it's just a lot of name yeah. Oh, oh. Yogi's mom didn't even give him, and mom and dad, I should say, didn't give him a middle name because they have so many middle names that they're like, I don't even know their real names, but um, didn't do a middle name for him at all. So, yeah, I get it. So you have the first name, the middle name, and then the two last names. But you could just omit a middle name like he did and then just have first name, two last names. Yeah, or put and one of our last names shorter. as a middle name type yeah. of a Look thing. Look at me, family I know. problem solved <laughs> this morning. Is this some like relationship <laughs> therapy th that's th happening th in here? This is. <laughs> we just joined the uh, therapy couch here with Christy. <laughs> I say we just uh, the first kid for a girl for sure. Should name her Piper and then yeah, have my last name. Yeah, that was we'll one see. of the cool things when we did like the wedding gifts. Like, we just donated money because, you know, I want my friends to have babies so I don't have to have babies. <laughs> and I can still come squeeze the cheeks on your kids and, like, be Auntie Christy oh, yeah. and not have to deal with the responsibility of everything. So I like that. You you guys incubate for me also, please. <laughs> <laughs> and when they're being, being little buttheads, we'll send them to you. But Yogi's off camera just shaking his head like, heck no. That's what I'm saying. They're... they're they, they're incubating. I'm the aunt. So they're doing the baby for us so we don't have to do the baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you're the surrogacy. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm not that old. I can no. actually do it if I want to. <laughs> Thanks, Yogi. <laughs> I just don't want to, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm not Kim Kardashian. I'm not, like, worried about destroying my body. I'm like, okay, I just... I'm not that old. I can do it. <laughs> Jeez. I feel like this ended. really took a turn I feel like here. This took Very a violent turn. Yeah, <laughs> you were you were giving <laughs> us relationship therapy, and now, somehow now this is happening. Somehow Yogi like, oh. and I need Yogi's backstage, going, "Hold the brakes! Time out! We're not having kids!" <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> he's sweating. <Yeah. laughs> Steam is coming out his ears. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> now this is exciting stuff. You guys have had some big yeah. life changes, and you got married this year. I went to your wedding. It was beautiful, yeah. and it was like. The, it was like a frat party wedding. It was like a nice Wild country wedding party. that turned into a frat party. Yes. There was cake stands on the dance floor. 
Yeah. Yeah. It like, was fun. You were wearing like the sexiest outfit I've ever seen. <laughs> I like and ever, you you keep laughing about this. You're like whatever, but it was like a, like a little negligee. Oh, I don't come even on. know. I'm like I she's think, she's keg standing in like a negligee. I think <laughs> technically it was a jumper, but because I'm so lengthy that it kind there was a lot of skin showing there's that I really wasn't <laughs> anticipating. But it was it was June. It was warm. Amazing, it was though. nice. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. rock it. Yeah. <laughs> Just do it. It was fun. A jumper, a jumper with shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. good. Yeah. It, was it was fun. It was a great wedding. That you was my dancing outfit because I couldn't dance in my dress. Yeah. So I had to go. I had to go change for movement ability. Yeah. yeah. Well, the dress. I think it probably got a little muddy too. Probably. Oh yeah, it was very muddy. It was by raining the there, a smidge. Yes. For a minute. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We had a great time, and um, we rolled in with Nestor and. Um, you know, Yogi and I had uh, three beds in our room, and we were, like, trying to get Nestor to stay with us because he was staying in a cabin yeah. in your place. And he was afraid. I don't get it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Nestor? Like, you're scared of us? <laughs> Come hang. We're fine. Uh, no? Mm-mm. No? I think he's scared of Yogi. I'm pretty sure yeah, I'll kick his that's ass. probably what happened <laughs> with that one. I don't know. He was probably afraid Yogi would start cuddling him in the middle yeah, of the he, night. You know? you know what? I don't think he wants to be the uh, little spoon. I no. think that's the issue. He, it might have been a Nestor sandwich, and I think yeah. he was like, I'm out. I don't I don't need to be in the middle of that. <laughs> he was terrified, yeah. So um, you guys did the most awesome episode I just got done watching about your hunting moon. Yeah, the hunting moon. Yeah, it's a great episode. Instead of doing a honeymoon, we did a hunting moon. Yeah, we took three weeks off of work, and uh, we went. Where did we go? Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, Montana, and Montana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and deer hunted, all of it. Yeah, and your trailer project that you guys built yourselves, which is like unbelievable to me, because I can barely like put a nail in the wall with a hammer. So. Really yeah. Impressed. Jordan's like, I'm installing an HVAC system <laughs> in my camper today. I'm like, you're doing what? <laughs> yeah, I really jumped down that rabbit hole. She um, watched. I, I'd, I'd come home and she'd be in a deep, dark hole of YouTube on how to make something, do something else on YouTube. Yeah, and bud- Yeah. Uh, pretty that, soon. That but, was like something that started with the simplest thing and morphed into a very large thing. It's just trying to get a trailer for the side by side. Yeah. I started looking at open like style uh, trailers and you didn't have to pay that much more to get an enclosed one. And then that led to, oh, we could, if it's enclosed, we could put cots in it and sleep if we had to. And then that led to just making it a camper. <laughs> Pretty yeah. soon there's a bed, yeah. there's a heater, there's a shower, there's cabinets, <laughs> yeah, cabinets all the things. Yeah. yeah. It's USB a little, ports. Uh, I don't even call it janky. It's just, uh, it's very functional. Yeah, it's yeah. like not, and that's what you hunted over fancy. out of. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. lived in it for three. Uh, yeah, three weeks. Three weeks. And Edna much. was there too. Yeah, yeah. Edna oh, yeah. the dog. Mm-hmm. We um, we're also doing a trailer project this year, um, but we bought it. <laughs> we're not doing it ourselves. Your tra- yeah. yeah no. We well, I you know, Yogi has been super inspired by this uh, trailer of yours and then other people he's seen online and he's been obsessed with getting one and i'm like look these trailers these cargo trailers are righteously expensive but then also i have this horrible habit of mules and i only have a three horse trailer which i bought new when i was 18 Mm -hmm. it's just basically destroyed um and we need a new horse trailer so i'm like let's just get something that we can use for the horses for camping for hauling our trade show booth we're mm-hmm. hauling our side by side so it's like an all-in-one and yeah we're just i'm not doing it we're having it built but they're insulating it and they're putting 110 power in the back and doing a generator plug-in and we'll have water but we won't have anything unless we like aftermarket yeah like shower and so it'll be like a horse trailer with the living quarters in the front well, no it's just a horse trailer that's insulated and has 110 power <laughs> basically and yeah. water and then so like in the back that we're putting plug-ins in so we can put in electric heaters yeah. Um, and then, you know, throw cots in. and But we don't have anything, like, shower-wise yet. we got to work on that. Yeah. Once you go that route, I don't think you go back. Like, going from a I – mean, wall tents are nice and stuff, but when you can, like, have everything loaded up in 30 Mobile. minutes and rolling out, like, yeah. Phew, yeah, it's been so nice. Yeah. And then, like, you know, we set up a wall tent in Wyoming because it was going to snow and we just wanted extra space. 
and and to have the Ugh. fireplace yeah, in case you we guys needed had to snow on your hunting. Yeah, room. yeah, lots of snow in we Wyoming, did. so we could have the wood stove going and get some heat and dry stuff out and everything in the in this like smaller mm-hmm. wall tent that she has. So how but did you vent for a wood stove? It's in the oh in the in wall the tent. tent. The oh. the stove, yeah, the wood okay. stove is in. We did a, a direct vent propane heater, and mixed with like a electric heater mm-hmm. that we use with the uh, generator. Okay. To help heat it, it works. It works pretty good. It's like a lot safer than a buddy heater. Yeah. Cause it's, yeah. Well, the propane buddy heaters, if you're not careful, yeah, you can get yeah, kill yourself. No, oh, yeah, for sure. That's why the the trailer guys were like, no, you just need to do electric and not yeah. not even try it. Um, but we we're you know super rudimentary in this process right now and haven't gotten as like super planning on it so we'll get there i'm hoping like that next phase of what are we going to do with it but what really prompted us to last year is we had an open cargo trailer like you guys were talking about open sides and we were packed in for 11 days deer hunting and our side by sides out there and our we have julie and dave (laughs) hello lovelies (laughs) Yeah, well, you know, he's the eye candy, so everybody wants to see Yogi. <laughs> um, so anyway, we, we had everything out while we were packed in for 11 days, and anybody could have just stole everything we own, like mm-hmm. every, like literally, and it's just not very secure. So I want a way to keep everything secure, but also dry and dust-free. Dry. Yeah, That's Some huge. Of those roads, they just, like, destroy your stuff. Like, even, like, on my side-by-side, I got to put my backpacks in, like, a garbage bag yep. when we're driving because the zippers stop working. And the snaps won't work. Oh, all the dust, yeah. dust is bad. Yeah, it's so bad on your gear. Mm-hmm. Like, so that's that's why we we wanted to do like the full enclosed. Thing. And it's nice. Yeah. Like we our bed in the back is pretty high, so we can double stack totes yeah. underneath our bed. So that's like our main storage, and yeah. we still have a queen size bed on top of that. And so it's really handy. Yeah, collapses down. We pull the side by side in with it, and Perfect. it's like yeah. it's fourteen foot, basically mm-hmm. sixteen with the V nose. So. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, there's been nights where it's you can hear the wind whipping out there, yeah. and we're in there. It's all nice and cozy and warm. Hard we got, sided. yeah, we oh. could have a movie playing or something, and mm-hmm. and be able to relax. And uh, I think that you just stay out so much longer if you have if, a, if, if you're, you're warm and have a good night's sleep. And stay out oh yeah. yeah, that was and my thought too. Is like if it's raining or snowing, we can go back to the trailer and get dry and warm and have a hot meal that's not necessarily out of a bag, mm-hmm. um, and just really just. You know, you get bone cold in a tent, and yeah. it's not fun. Yeah, two things I feel like the last couple of years and then this year, like, really helped us is that, like, the trailer being, like, hard-sided and just you have a place to go back to and it's warm and you have all your stuff and it's not, like, dirty in a tent. Yeah. And then that enclosed side-by-side yeah. that we got. We were we were driving around in snowstorms and everybody else in we, Wyoming we would was drive past in their trailers. The, yeah, drive past trailers and everyone with their just their four-wheelers and stuff like that. They were all in their trailers because and their four-wheelers were covered cold. up. Yeah. And we were out there in our sweaters in the heated and Drinking enclosed. Drinking coffee. Yeah, it, yeah it's like, like rolling warm. You know, we <laughs> yeah. could stop and Edna's pop up panting the thing. in the back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, she's hot and and we, you know, we just go out there and we can stay out way longer because we're comfortable and warm. If yeah. we were hiking or riding horses or on a four-wheeler and out in the open, no, no way. You'd yeah. go out for an hour and you'd be yeah. back home. And so it's kind of nice. You can go out and kind of weather the storm and be out there. Mm-hmm. So. It's underrated. Hey, you guys, if you're like me, you are totally dependent on OnX Hunt for nearly everything from hunting, navigating backcountry roads, even real estate. But being an elite member with OnX has so many benefits that you guys are going to want to take advantage of if you're not already doing so. For example, you're going to have access to all 50 states plus Canada with tons of valuable resource, landowner information, and you're also going to get added benefits like draw odds with top ret that will help you with all of your application seasons and benefits through hunting full magazine and to boot you guys they've got tons of great specials through partners like silencer central where if you're an on x elite member you really benefit from those partnerships so if you guys aren't a member i encourage you go online to the on hunt website use code wild 20 at checkout and you're going to save 20 percent you're going to love being an Onyx Hunt Elite member. Mm-hmm. 
for sure. So you're hunting when you guys did, you did it based out of your trailer that Jordan and Leah built. Mm -hmm. I would say Jordan, right? Primarily. No. Right? Yes. Yeah. Jordan's the MacGyver of, <laughs> of every family, I think. Cause you, like, if there's a piece of gear to be navigated or figured out, you're the person to do it. Um, and you went to all these states. You spent three weeks out there. Mm -hmm. And and as newlyweds, I mean, how many fights were had? Come on now. Give us the dirt. I None. don't think any. We, I think we, that's... It was almost harder to lead each other after that. Yeah. Stint than yeah. Because we're kind of used usual. to being a little bit apart because yeah. she's gone doing yeah. stuff. I'm gone doing mm -hmm. stuff or I'm working and stuff. And we had so much fun. Yeah. And we literally, at the end of that, I was like, if there was any test, that's it. that would be that it. You it. know, like in Wyoming, there yeah. were days that it was snowing and we didn't leave the trailer because yeah. it was such a bad storm and didn't have a single fight the whole time. And it was like, if, that, if there was any test, it would be in a 14 foot box yeah. for three weeks. Like you can't really test much more than that type yeah. of a deal. And so we had a great time. Jordan ended up getting a deer in Idaho. Mm -hmm. I got a deer in Montana. Um, you know, just Wyoming sucked. It's a great Wyoming episode. was rough. I had an antelope tag in Nebraska on the ranch, and we didn't see anything worth size. And yeah. you know, freezer was full, and so no need to really push it. And so yeah. it was fun. We got to be picky because our freezer was full, so we got to kind of pick and choose. You know, we passed up on a lot of deer, yeah. um, and just like had a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's we got awesome. lucky. Yeah. We did 11 days this year in a two-man tent, no shower, and we smelled so bad. And, and, I mean, I feel like it was almost a, like a creepy bonding experience. Like, if we can get through that, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. yeah for sure. I think we're all pretty lucky that we found people that like doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys have a shower, so, I mean, there's also that. <laughs> yeah. <pretty> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> instant hot water heater yeah. is underrated for sure. Yeah, I know. I got to talk to you a little to bit. That. Of, yeah, yeah, I was going to talk a little bit of gear on that. So what are your plans for this year? What's what's exciting and new coming? Um, going but, to well, First of all, Hawaii. everybody should go watch their Hunting Moon episode yeah. on your Running Water Media YouTube channel. Yeah, if you just put Jordan Budd in on YouTube, yeah. you'll yeah. get there. And we, we have videos from last year, too. Mm -hmm. I think we did three videos from last year of our hunts. So, yeah, those are on there. We have, uh, I'm going to, I've been working with Meat Eater a little bit, and uh, we're going to Hawaii mm -hmm. with them in May, mm -hmm. mid-May. Mm -hmm. We're going to do, like, What uh, are you hunting there? Axis deer. Nice. It's the best meat in the world. Yeah, I know. So, 100% plan on bringing it back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's that's so good. You will not eat better wild game. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. want to do one of the hindquarters uh, flip flop style. Yeah. Flip -flop yeah. And, yeah. You know, we've had a couple of times with Andy that he's kind of showed us how to do it. And so we'll, cool. we'll do a little barbecue and flip flop it at home. Should be yeah. fun. That'd yeah. be awesome. Yeah. And I think we've got, I think we're going to try to do a couple of Utah tags uh, early season for deer. We'll do Idaho deer, Idaho elk. I'm trying to draw a Wyoming elk tag. And then uh, that's kind of it. Yeah. Go to Nebraska and guide. Yeah. You guys got a big lineup. Yeah, it's going to be busy. A lot of stuff going on. I, well, if you guys do Wyoming, maybe yeah. let me know. I live there <laughs> with my husband. You know, I wouldn't mind hunting with you. It would be kind of fun. Yeah. I don't know. Um, we could work it out. But um, I don't know. Where, where are you putting in just general? Uh, no, it would be a draw unit. Oh, you're going to try you for a draw. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Well, never mind then because I won't draw <laughs> that unit. But, uh, yeah, whatever. But, uh, yeah, no, it's. It sounds like you guys are going to have a good year. Yeah. It's awesome. It's going to so be good. So you're doing a Things new gear good. podcast, too, for Meat Eater. Yeah, we're doing a I co host podcast with Yanni uh, on the Meat Eater Network called Gear Talk. Yeah. All about gear and stuff. We dig into, like, nitty-gritty stuff on, like, insulation types and, I don't know, you name it, we're going to end up talking about it. So mm -hmm. that's been uh, it's been a really good move. So yeah. So what, um, what is there any gear specifically, like, that you're super stoked about getting to test out this year and... Mm. Is there like something that you're like walking around Hunt X when you're like, man, I can't wait to try this? Yeah, I think uh, Crispy has some boots. New, I saw that, some yeah. new boots that came out. I like really, and they're like a rendition on some boots I already like. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to try those. Um, that company Peaks has a new tent that looks interesting mm -hmm. that they had come out. So we, uh, yeah, that's kind of, those are the big ones. Mm hmm. I think. I don't, I'm trying to think what else. If you're new to archery, there are many components to familiarize yourself with. One of the most important components is your arrow rest. An arrow rest can have many features, 
but its basic function is to connect and hold or contain your arrow to your bow until you're ready to shoot. There are a lot of arrow rest styles to choose from, and what rest that you choose may vary depending on the type of bow that you're shooting. When shooting a compound bow, I personally prefer an arrow rest with two main features. The first is arrow containment, and the second is drop away capabilities. A containment rest is going to fully support and surround the arrow to prevent it from falling off of the rest. This feature is really important when you're spot and stock hunting with an arrow knock. Many trophy taker arrow rests feature full containment and drop away capabilities. The name drop away rest really says it all. The rest drops down during the release process and is time to be out of the way of the arrow's fletchings, meaning that nothing is interfering with the arrow as it clears the riser in flight. Because of this, drop away arrow rests are known to be extremely accurate and reliable. Learn more by researching online or visiting your favorite archery retailer. Um, we just saw FHS's uh, new sling um, for their gun sling. And yeah. It seems like new it's pretty, harness coming pretty out. good. So That's, what's, what's exciting about that. that? It snaps onto the onto your pack, and so uh -huh. it's a quick release. So your bat, you know, your rifle isn't all the way on the yeah. back of the pack. So you don't have to take your pack off and then unsnap it. You can just kind of quick release yeah. it. Oh, and that's and then cool. you know, usually like when you have a sling on and you're walking around, it keeps freaking sliding, sliding off, it drives me nuts. That. Yeah, it's basically it's just a clip that goes in your backpack. So it's like the sling goes right clips to your backpack, so it can't fall, fall off. off. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty pretty cool. secured. And then it's like comes off really quick too. So. Mm -hmm. There's like some little things like that that keep popping up, but yeah, this is yeah. the place to walk around and like check out that stuff. Unfortunately, we're pretty anchored at this show, and I can't walk around and look at as much gear and whatnot as I'd like to do. But yeah, it's okay. You know, we're having a good time here anyway, and, and if I want to learn about all this great, exciting new gear. I'm gonna listen to your podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every yeah. other Thursday is when they drop that. Currently, yeah, every mm -hmm. other Thursday we're trying to go weekly. Yeah, we'll that's see. the same rotation that I've been on as every other Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. But mine are sometimes late. Like, I was supposed to have one on Thursday, but I didn't get it to my editor in time. So here we go. It's Saturday, <laughs> and I don't have a podcast app yet. <laughs> but uh. okay, such is life. When you're your own boss, I guess I'm the only one I can yell at is myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, Christy, you're slacking. <laughs> but it's hard, you know, to keep the content momentum going, you know. But this is a great place for you guys to, to check out gear and, and, you know, get everything going for the yeah. year and line it's, everything out. It's pretty exciting, I think, like the new technologies and stuff that's coming out. Yeah. Like, just in the industry is uh, with, like, fabrics and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, exciting yeah. time. Yeah. So anything else exciting coming up with you guys? Or? I think we're about think to start so. calving season, yeah. so yeah. The, the grind, the ranch of, life, yeah, that's about it. Coming yeah, in hot. And you guys have such a dynamic life, so you go from like full time hunting season to calving season, and then you're like a serious like professional in the medical industry, Leah. Mm -hmm. Like this woman has cut into people and done things that you can only imagine. <laughs> like I mean, with a scalpel. I don't know yeah, if you actually you have to handle that her. or whatever, but. Yeah, I come home and sometimes I tell Jordan stories and she's like, oh my god!" Well, you're doing the eyeball stuff and that freaks me out, right? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I I think I need my eyes done because I'm blind in this one and I'm terrified that I'm going to be awake and they come at me with a knife in my eyeball. <laughs> the fact that you can cut into a human eyeball and not puke is I, real impressive. I would say the eyeballs are my least favorite uh, thing to assist on. Yeah, because, what is it about an eyeball? Yeah, it makes my eyes water the whole time. So I try to avoid those rooms if I can, but yeah. Yeah, yeah full-time surgical assistant and... Yeah. Um, yeah, just get it. And a kind of a quasi somewhat marketing genius, too. I mean, like, you're doing a lot of stuff with marketing and you're getting more involved in outdoor marketing and branding. Trying and, to, yep. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I think you guys, um, you guys are a great couple. You know, have such great synergy and, mm -hmm. and you work well together. And uh, you're living that full lifestyle of from hunting to ranching and getting out there together and putting in the time and scouting. Mm -hmm. I love I love following along on everything that you two do. and. Yeah, appreciate uh, it. And then we uh, edit video your videos. Yeah. In the winter yeah. time. You're like crushing it <laughs> on my video edits. Like I just love you. You yeah. they're like you do such a good job and you know, it's nice I send you footage and it just comes back amazing. Like you 
Yeah. Yeah, you do. She's a, great job. a bit experience. of a wizard. I, She's amazing. I mean, she handed me a camera. I have no camera experience, yeah. and uh, somehow manages to make some really cool videos of all the stuff that we do all mm -hmm. fall. And I'll be at work, and I come home. She's like, "I did our video. You want to watch it?" And I'm like, "Oh, sweet! It's kind of like a new adventure yeah. for me." I'm like, "Do I get the popcorn? Like this? Is like, an, like I didn't, haven't got to see any of it, and all of a sudden it's like a, this beautiful masterpiece, and it's yeah. fun." So. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. fun filming stuff. Yeah, you're Having very talented. You have such a great eye, Jordan. Thanks. Especially like your photography too is is awesome. Like there's so many people you you know you walk through this expo, and there's so many brands that you gear test for, or write for, or represent. And the photography that you'll see in a lot of spaces, whether it be social media or web or whatever, it's coming from you. Mm -hmm. And that's I mean you've got to be proud as a wife of that. Um, but also, I, I mean you're. I've known you since you were like 22 or something like that. I think I was 19. 19? <laughs> <laughs> 10 years. We're going on a decade 20, of friendship. Yeah. Literally. Mm -hmm. And just how far you've come. Like, I, I'm so proud to be your friend and of, Thank of you. all the people I've met in this room. Like, from day one, I was a 100% Jordan Bud fan. Like, 100%. You're no, legit. You my back you're everything. tough. But what I love about you is you're humble. And as badass as you are, at the same token, you're never afraid to learn. Mm -hmm. And you're always trying to be a better outdoorsman, a better sportsman, better marksman. You know, whatever you need to do, you're always like, okay, yeah, I'm going to try this. And you go all in and you're willing to put in the time to learn and to research and to train. Yeah. And, um, you know, it makes you unique to who you are. Um, and you're so respected. Uh, I don't think there's anybody in these four walls that could say anything bad about you, and if they did, I'd kick their ass. <laughs> there you go. Well, you're gonna make me cry. Thanks. Aw, it's true though. I love you guys. You're my yeah, people. Yeah, we love you too. I mean, like, think about it, like ten years. It's mm -hmm. crazy. It's been a ride. Yeah, and you're just doing. I'm so proud of everything you're doing with Meat Eater and First Light and all your partners. I mean, obviously, you know, I work with different partners than you work with, but I'm. I mean, I, I think it's great. And what is great about this industry is we're all here to cheer each other on. And like what you guys have for yeah. success, I'm like, yes, those are my homies. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm stoked yeah. about that, you know. So um, anyway, I'm just glad you guys made time for me this weekend. Absolutely. And to share your life a little bit with everybody that mm -hmm. watches this podcast. Anything else you guys want to share <sighs> about or promote? I think there's or? anything we want to kick out. No. I don't know. I'm just ready to go win a sheep hunt. Oh, yeah. We're going to yeah, go win a sheep hunt go here pretty quick. Today. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. the goal. That's the goal Hopefully. for the rest of the day. Yeah. Win sheep hunt. I did not put in for it. I'm such a loser. But Yogi and I, we opted out on doing tags this year because we're trying to buy property and I'm like, okay, let's just we're raining in our finances to make some other goals kind of come true. This for year. sure. So we're like, okay, we'll just save here and there just a little bit, and it all adds up to you know hopefully providing us something really special in the you know coming months. And for sure. Out. You have a phantom hunt booked. Do what? You have a fan and hunt book. I have a fan and hunt book with Blackstone in 2025. Yeah. Nice. And they're they're booked out 100% through 25, and they're not even booking for 26. They're like, yeah, we just need to take a pause and see. It's you know, wild right what's now. What's going on with the sheep It's hunts wild and, yeah. right now. And I got locked in for 25 on a 22 price point. So Good for by you. the time 25 rolls around, they're going to be pretty high. And, um, you know, it is expensive. So, I mean, like, so part of what I'm doing is, you know, I have side hustles and side jobs and yeah, things that I'm trying to, like, save not only for us to have, you know, property and a ranch, but also so I can do some of these dream hunts before they get, like, too crazy. Yeah. And the Phantom Ram is a great way to get your gray sheep and not spend $105,000 on a stone. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. That, they're, they're, they're now going between seventy five and one oh five. So, go on. Well, Antelope Island deer tags sold for 500, 500 last, last night. night. Oof. Thousand. Crazy. <laughs> money for conservation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's awesome. I yeah. mean, yeah. it's great the money that, you know, the free market is creating for conservation. And and I wish the thumbprint of what we do uh, was seen worldwide or, or the story of what hunters are doing in this room alone was told worldwide. It's just not. And, it, and it's, it's actually sad. It's a tragic uh, underreporting on what hunters really do for conservation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. With free markets and free will and, you know, it's just, this is all volunteer. We all want to be here. Mm -hmm. We all want to conserve. We all want to enhance habitat. and um, We want to be able to do this it for better. our whole lives. Exactly. Yeah. And our kids' lives. And our, and our kids, grandkids' yeah. lives. Yeah. And you don't yeah. get to do that by no. 
wasting the resource. Yeah, so absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. Well, I love you, ladies. I'm gonna let you we get to you your too. sheep tags. Um, thank you both for joining us. How absolutely. can people find you on your social channels? Where do you want people? We're running Water Media is on uh, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I changed that to Jordan, just my name. Is it? No, okay. yeah. So just like Jordan Butt on YouTube uh, at Jordan Butt on Instagram. Okay. And, and that'll pretty much get you. High Camp Outdoors on High Instagram. High Camp Outdoors on yeah. Instagram. All right. So That's hit these it. ladies up. And if you're looking for some awesome gear advice from Jordan, where can people listen to your podcast? <laughs> yeah, anywhere you get your podcast, uh, Gear Talk is what gear it's talk called. Gear Talk with First Light, right? Meteors, dear, meteors, meteors. Uh, gear, okay. gear Talk, yeah. So. All right, you guys, check out these ladies. And thank yeah. you all for tuning in to this episode of the Wild and Uncut podcast from Hunt Expo. And we appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to the Wild and Uncut podcast. If you would like to hear more, be sure to subscribe to my Pursue the Wild digital series on YouTube and follow me at Christy Titus on Facebook and Instagram.